Venezuelan Foreign Minister Delcy Rodriguez has rejected the U.S. government's categorization of her country as a security threat. She calls the move by Washington a first step toward military intervention. Now, addressing the Organization of American States in Washington, D.C., Rodriguez said that Venezuela has always been open to dialogue with the United States. At the same time, she warned about the campaign being launched against her nation by Washington and by the international press. We know what has come before military interventions by the United States, and that has been media campaigns. And there has been a media campaign against our country. And with the latest on that meeting in Washington and Venezuela-U.S. relations, our correspondent in Washington, Alexandra Hall, joins us live now over the phone. Alexandra, thanks for joining us. What else can you tell us? Well, Cody, as you said, uh, Venezuela's Foreign Minister Delcy Rodriguez uh, spoke first at this special session of the OAS. She did talk about the historical precedence of intervention, U.S. intervention in Latin America. She uh, specifically uh, called on the ambassadors at the OAS to remember um, the impact that the U.S. embargo has had on the Cuban people, saying that intervention isn't something that the Venezuelan government is imagining, that it does have historical precedence in the region. Now, the United States did not waste any time in responding. They were the first uh, member state to call for the floor. Interim representative of the United States, Michael Fitzpatrick, reviewed the executive action itself issued by President Obama earlier this month. He said that it does not mean foreign intervention and ended by saying, quote, we did not create the problems Venezuela faces and we cannot solve them. We next heard from Nicaragua. Uh, the representative from that country said that uh, this executive action is a threat that is unjust and unacceptable. He also made a point to say that Venezuela Venezuela, unlike the United States, does not occupy Iraq, Afghanistan, other countries in the Middle East, and does not invade uh, other countries with military forces. Uh, next, we heard from outgoing General Secretary Jose Miguel Insulza, who took the floor, followed by uh, a representative from Bolivia, who explicitly asked for the executive actions to be revoked. Now, of course, that's a request that we've heard from other member states of, of another multilateral, multilateral organization, ALBA, just last week. And and, of course, uh, the, their proposal to revoke those executive actions uh, will be discussed uh, in depth at the Summit of the Americas in April. All right, Alexandra, thanks for your reporting. We know you'll continue to uh, follow it for us. Staying with the topic, Minister Rodriguez's address to the OAS comes as the Venezuelan government launches an international campaign gathering sin signatures denouncing the U.S.'s categorization of the country as a security threat. Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro said Wednesday evening that the campaign is looking to gather millions of signatures to persuade the Obama administration to reverse its decree against Venezuela. The campaign is called Venezuela is no threat, we are hope. Now speaking at a rally on Wednesday, President Maduro was emphatic in his demand that the executive order be revoked. We have to make sure that this decree is repealed. Because this decree is like a sword, here, in the neck of our nation. And support for Venezuela continues to be expressed really around the world. Gatherings were held in Chile and Colombia on Wednesday, condemning U.S. attempts to isolate Venezuela and to impose further sanctions on the nation. Hundreds of workers, students, and political activists took to the streets of Santiago, Chile, under the banner of No More Coups in Latin America. Representatives of social organizations and the ALBA regional bloc met in the Colombian capital of Bogota to offer for their support to Venezuela's revolutionary process.